Okay, so now we're ready to do the raglan because the raglan says to start with a front kimono sleeve with a gusset pattern. So we did the kimono, then we did the sleeve with a gusset. So our shoulder is dropped. We have an angle here now. It's not just sticking straight out like it was before. We have our sleeve line marked. We have our gusset marked. That's where we're gonna start with the raglan. Um, we are gonna decide how you want the angle on the body. Do you want the raglan style line to be coming out closer to center neck, closer to shoulder? How do you want that line to be coming across the front of the bodice? And then it's gonna hit the flat plane of your body and then it's gonna drop down under the underarm. So just that's an aesthetic choice that the designer makes. So I am gonna start by just taking this neckline measurement here and I'm gonna break it into thirds just so that I have a, um, like a designer odd number, whatever. And I'm going to use this top third as my style line that I'm going to have my raglan come in at. And I'm gonna have my line come away from the neck and towards the arm's eye, but more kind of towards the mid center of the sleeve here, I'm gonna be heading it this direction. So it's not quite parallel with the shoulder seam. It's at a slight angle away from that. Does that make sense? Like not really? You're just determining like the shape of the neckline, right? Like the neckline is already out. set. What I'm determining is that stitch line that's gonna attach my sleeve to my bodice. So if I were looking at, um, oi, sorry. Oh, um, cause you're gonna have to cut it at one point over here. Yes. Okay. So see how this style line right here on the sleeve, this is the style line we're determining is this one right here. Okay, so my plan, my plan is to start here and I'm going to hit this line at some point. So I am just going to measure down this line just a little bit shorter than however long I made my gusset. Like if I was doing a full scale, it'd probably be about half an inch shorter than my gusset line is. Uh, proportionately, it doesn't work out so well because you have more room down under the armpit usually than you do from the neck to hitting that flat plane of the body. So I'd make it just a little shorter, but you can see where I picked my spot in my neck. So I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line over to hit this point. And then it's gonna travel down the length of this until we hit the gusset line. And you can determine if you wanna come out here and come down, if you wanna scoop in here and come down. It's really all about your style line that you want, okay? So I have to tip my paper so that I can kind of, I can't do this style line sideways because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna come up here just a little bit and curve it in and then curve it up. So that's what I've determined my style line is gonna be. I'm using this dotted line as a guideline. I'm using my gusset measurement as the bottom measurement and slightly shorter than my gusset measurement as my top measurement to kind of segment that line in pieces. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm eyeballing it. Now, I'm gonna determine where my grain line is going. Do I want my grain line going straight up and down the arm this way? Do I want it going perpendicular or parallel to my side seam? Do I want it going parallel to my center front? How do I want my, guy, my grain lines to go? And I'm going to put my grain line on both pieces before I cut them apart because otherwise reorienting them will be difficult. So, I like to just keep my raglans, my grain lines parallel to the side seam. It keeps it nice and clean for me. 
So I just use my ruler and I have my gridded ruler laying right square on my side seam and I just draw a grain line in my sleeve and draw a grain line in my bodice. Then I know my grain lines are exactly the same. Now you can see my grain line in my bodice is not exactly lined up with center front, which means my bodice will be slightly on the bias, but my sleeve's gonna all be on the bias anyway. So it's more important to me what if I'm using a pattern or a fabric that has a pattern that I need to match or I need my flowers to be oriented the same way or I need my stitch rows and pearls to be lined up the same way. Um, I just like these two to be the same. Now, if you're color blocking and want to do something different, you can have your grain line going this way here and your grain line going this way there. And, and it'll be crazy right here where it intersects. But if that's what you want to do as a designer, then you can totally do that. Now at this point, I'm going to cut these two apart. And then, because this sleeve was designed for an extra piece of fabric up here in the gusset to complete the underarm or to complete the armpit, we're gonna have to add that gusset piece onto both this piece and this piece to be able to complete that. But we can't do that until we cut them apart. 